So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to import flight plans that you've made in Little Nav Map into X-Plane 12. So there's two types of plans that I've seen that you can import into X-Plane, being a FMS file and a UFMC file. So we're going to be looking into both of those. FMS is pretty simple, straight upload, and UFMC requires a little a couple more steps. So first, we'll take a look at the FMS. So once you have your flight plan like this, you're just going to come up to File, and you're going to Export Flight Plan as FMS for X-Plane 11 and 12. So you're going to come to the output folder here and it's currently missing a folder which we're going to make. We're going to hit new folder. We're going to type in FMS plans. We're going to open that and we're going to save our FMS file there. You can name it whatever you want. Uh, in this case I'm just going to name it to flight. So from here what we need to do is open up the plane of our choice. And so once you get the X-Plane just open up your plane of choice. For this example, to start off, I'm going to be using the Zebo 737. So I've loaded up in the simulator, so I'm going to come down to the FMC. And as you can see, it says nav date out of date, but that doesn't really matter anymore. So we'll clear that and go to the FMC. And as you can see, it says the nav data is 2303 cycle. And if we go back to the little nav map, we can see that I am using the 2303. And so that will match up perfectly for us. And so we're going to want to go to the route page, or route, however you want to say it. And there's a code route button that usually pops up like this. Um, so for the Zebo 737, we're going to be using that FMS file. Thank you for that. We're going to be using the FMS file that we just uploaded. And oftentimes you can click that and it'll bring you to a couple, the, all of the options that you have if you have multiple files inside that flight plans folder. But for the Zebo 737, it's just going to have us type it out. And so we're going to do that. So it's going to be flight. And we're going to put that in there. And it'll autofill everything in for us. We're going to activate it. And so, as you can see, our flight has been put into there. The waypoints are working. So, we're going to want to go into our legs and check for any discontinuities or uh, vectors. So, we're going to fill that in. Check and make sure it all looks good. Okay, so everything looks good, and it will take us straight to where we're trying to go. And that's pretty much it for the FMC, FMS type files. It matches up perfectly with how we have it looking, and that's pretty wonderful. I'll show you an example of what this would look like if you just have to select one. So I've just loaded up the Sparky 747, and this is a good example of an aircraft that will give you options to select from. So I'm going to go back to the root page, and if we hit co-route, co-root, it'll give us a list of everything that we have in that folder. And as of right now, it's just flight. So if I select that, it will give that to us. So the other type of file that X-Plane will sometimes ask for in a couple of other aircraft is the UFMC file. So if we go to file, multi-export flight plan options. We can find that in here if we scroll down. We'll look for the FM, UFMC type file. Here it is. And so we will select that. That is now enabled and we will click OK. Then we'll come back up here to file and then multi-export flight plan. And then from here I'll need to find my X-Plane folder. And so now that I'm at my X-Plane folder, the place to put this is actually in a different spot than the FMS. So we're going to want to go to custom data and UFMC and flight plans. And so we'll put that in here. And for this one, I'm going to name it flight again. All right. And then before we leave, we're going to want to open up the flight plan and the flight plan route description. And you're going to want to load from the flight plan. And then we're going to need this again in a second. So we're going to go back to X-Plane and load up our plane that requires the UFMC file. So I've loaded up the SSG 7437, and this is a great example of an aircraft that will ask for a UFMC file. So you're going to want to go to your FMC as usual, if I can get this to go up. We're going to go to that, go to our route page. And so it's going to ask for a co-route again, except it's going to get that file from where we exported our UFMC file. It's not going to go to that output flight plans with the FMS files. So I'm just going to type out flight as we did again. And then execute that. Now, 
activate that. There's a couple differences that the UFMC files have from the FMS files. The first one is it does not register procedures. And so it's done everything except for our departure and arrival. And so we're gonna need to go and do that. And so we're gonna open that up. And then we're gonna go back to the little nav map and look at our flight plan route description that it's made for us. And so we have runway 34 left. So let's open that up. 34 left. And then it looks like we're gonna wanna select Eons 8. And so let's do that. Eons 8 is right there. And then did it ask for us to do the Wyndham? It did not, so we're good to go with that. So that's selected, that is ready to go. Um, so from there, we're gonna wanna go back to the departure arrival. Oh, you gotta hit execute on that, I guess. Go to the departure arrival. And then we're gonna see where we're going from there. We are going to 22 left, and then we should be looking for Lendy 8, which is right there. And did it ask us to click LBZ? It did. So we're gonna click that and click execute. Perfect. And now everything in here should be looking good. Make sure to go through and look for any vectors or discontinuities and fill those in. And now for a typical flight, that's everything you need to do. However, if you are going across the ocean, there are going to be latitude waypoints uh, that are used for crossing the ocean and UFMC files don't like those as much, so we have to change those. So I'm gonna load up a flight from JFK to uh, HKJK and I'm going to show you how to correct those. So I've gone ahead and made the new flight plan inside a little nav map and uploaded it to X-Plane. And as you can see, once we hit the ocean, we're going to hit these yellow points over here, which are the ocean latitude points. And uh, they have interesting names in comparison to the rest of them. So if we come back to X-Plane, I'll unpause it, go to our legs page, we can find them right there. So I'm gonna to go to the preview page, the planning page. And if we go forward, we'll see that once we hit those latitude points, it kind of just disappeared off the map. And if you try flying it, your plane will just go to the most random spots ever. And so the issue with this is that UFMC doesn't parse seven character coordinates correctly and you need to convert them to the five character ICAO style format that uh, the UFMC file expects. And so to do that what we need to do is our first step let's take a look at this one. Um, well, hold on now. That one as you can see this one has become even longer so we're gonna ignore that. And we're gonna come back to this. So the way that we're going to fix these is a couple step process. The first thing we're going to do is take, we'll start off with this first one. We're going to take the first two di digits, which is the latitude. And so that's going to be 44. And then the last two di digits of the longitude, ignoring the first digit, which is usually a zero. And so that's going to be 50. And then take the hemisphere letter N for north or S for south. So we have north on this one and then combine these parts, which I've already done in that specific order. And so if we do that for the next couple, that would be 4340N, 4130N, back in the legs page, we're gonna change these out for what we just made. So the first one we made was 4450N, and then we'll replace it with the first one. We'll execute. And then as you can see, it didn't remove it. So what we'll need to do is select it again. And then select that. Execute. And then we'll follow that same process. So the next one is 4, 3, 4, 0, N. We'll select it. Execute. And then select it and replace the one we were trying to remove. Our third one's 4130N. And so, so we'll select this one, execute, and then we'll replace it again. 
And then our last one will be 3920N. Oops. 3920N. Execute that, and then we will replace it. Execute. Perfect. If we go to our planner mode, we'll be able to see that these points now pop up on the map, and uh, they should match up exactly with your flight plan. So hopefully that helped. Bitch, start tripping now, I'm blue. Mega man, I can't wait for losing cause I got too many haters, man. Used to be the paper boy, grew up now I'm Mega Man. Player one, player two, show your ass who 